Tonight, we're learning more about the man suspected of firing those shots at Officer Mosher. Police say Philip Carney was the man involved in that hit and run. 41 Action reporter Aaron Rothfield talked with his family about that deadly shootout. I spoke to Carney's uncle off camera, and he tells me the family is upset over what happened. In fact, when they first learned about the shooting, they asked what they could do to help Officer Mosher's family. As a memorial grows near 123rd in Antioch, questions linger about 38 year old Philip Carney, who police say shot and killed Overland Park police officer Michael Mosher. This was not Carney's first run in with the law. 41 Action News learned Carney has a long criminal history. Most recently, earlier this year in Lawrence, where he was suspected of burglarizing the cigar house on at least three different occasions. Off camera, the manager told 41 Action News Carney visited frequently and tried to get a job. Then he stopped coming by until January, where the manager said Carney broke in not once, but twice. The manager also told 41 Action News on one of those occasions, Carney was accused of threatening to hit a police officer with an ashtray when officers responded. In Johnson County, his criminal history is even longer. Last November, he was charged with two misdemeanor counts of criminal damage to property. He was scheduled to go to court in July. And in 2014, he pled guilty to misdemeanor domestic battery and criminal damage of under $1,000. He was placed on probation for two years. Carney's family tells me they have no idea where he was living. As far as what led up to Sunday's deadly shooting, well, they are still looking for answers themselves. Reporting in Overland Park, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.